Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how to use Excel to record your lap times, including milliseconds, and then how to calculate the difference in lap times, including milliseconds. So let's dive right in. I'm going to move my Excel spreadsheet into view. And so let's say that I have a lap time and then I have a reference lap time and then I want to calculate the difference between the two lap times and again I want to include milliseconds. So let's say the first lap time is uh, I'm just going to pick a number 2 minutes 7 seconds and 275 milliseconds. So the format is going to be 02 for minutes colon 07 for seconds dot 275 for milliseconds. Now you can see when I type in 275 for the milliseconds it's rounding it up and that's a formatting issue. I don't want it to be rounded up. I do want to calculate the difference including milliseconds to at least three digits and so I'm going to reformat that cell so I'm going to right click I'm going to go down to Format Cells. It's already highlighting the format that I'm kind of using. Minute, minute, second, second, and then zero. But I want two more zeros there, so I'm going to insert two more zeros so that it carries it out to three decimal places. And I'll hit OK. And now you can see that the lap time is displayed, uh, including milliseconds, and it's to three digits. I want to copy this format for the reference lap time and I want to copy that format for the difference as well. So I'll go here, right click, I do a copy and then I'll extend it to these two. I'm going to right click, well I can just do one at a time. So paste special and I'm going to paste the format. So that's copied and then I'm going to use the same copy, go here, paste special, copy the format, and copy it. So both, all three of these cells will now display the time uh, in milliseconds, including up to three decimal places. All right, let's say the reference lab time that I want uh, to compare mine to is one minute, 58 seconds, and 478 milliseconds. So that's 01 colon 58 dot 478 milliseconds. So again, pay attention to the format. It's minute minute colon second second dot and then up to three decimal places for milliseconds. So now our work is done. The difference is simply going to be cell B3 minus cell C3. So equals B3 minus C3. And that tells you that the difference in the lap times is 8 seconds and 797 milliseconds. So that's pretty cool. If you didn't have this column at all, you could guess that the difference between 1 minute 58 seconds and 2 minutes 7 seconds is about 9 seconds. But if you wanted to get really precise and include the milliseconds into the calculus, then this is how to do it. I hope this was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. I'll sign off. Be safe. See you next time.